G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I've uh, decided to build another video to oscilloscope circuit as I was having um, still having troubles with the other circuit and which I'm yet to sort out, which I will. But in the meantime, I thought try this other circuit, which consists of using an LM 1881 chip which apparently does most of the uh, work in providing horizontal vertical sync and and um, everything else can't really explain off the top of my head the functioning of it but anyhow it does most of the work in converting video signals to signals to, com to display on the scope to display a picture anyhow um, yeah, I've built the circuit up in similar fashion to the other circuit. Components on top, some components and all the wiring underneath, and have neatly mounted the um, the video input and XYZ output panel up here, um, RCA sockets. This time, so I can plug RCA plugs to the scope and for X, Y, and Z at the back. A bit hard to see, anyway. So, and it's all powering off um, 9 volts from the variable 9 volt supply instead of uh, plus negative 12 volts. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we've got the LM1881 chip there, our two triple five times for the X and Y, um, our um, Z output, I've um, needed to add an inverter circuit because otherwise you get a negative picture on display, so I've done that using, um, <coughs> using a triple five timer to get the negative five volts for the for the um, op amp chip which is used to invert the the uh, intensity the intensity of the picture for the Z output um, anyhow I, um, the TLO 82 chips weren't available so I used the TLO 72 chip which is apparently compatible and um, substitutable for the TLO 82 chip anyhow um, yeah, I've got this all powered up, and um, I'm not yet getting a picture on display, but I am getting a more plausible looking raster, which is, um, which looks to be, you know, of uh, displaying, you know, snow. <laughs> and it's moving about here and there, which is, yeah, not cool, but all the same. Certainly, I'm certainly getting a lot better results than I'm getting on the other circuit. But still, yet yeah, work needs to be done to actually get some pictures coming out of this circuit. And of course, I'm using my little CCD color camera. Anyhow, yeah, I'm getting a much more plausible looking raster at least, so I'm very, very happy about that. Hopefully, we'll get some pictures out of this circuit very soon. Might do a bit of tweaking. <coughs> see what see if I can get something displayed. Um vertical adjustment and or oh, Y adjustment. Horizontal X adjustment. Hmm, but camera down for a minute. So. Um, yeah, still, still no pictures of yet, but 
Yeah, we're getting there. Um, what I'm actually going to do is um, bypass the video inverter circuit and just input it straight, input the um, video signal straight to the um, Z axis. So we'll get in, because maybe the problem might be lying within within uh, the circuitry here, which inverts the inverts the uh, luminance of the picture, the intensity. So bypassing that maybe it might work with an inverted inverted uh, picture negative picture so I'm going to try that first and see how I go if the if I get a picture then yeah the problem lies within the picture inverter stage otherwise the problem may will lie elsewhere but yeah I've actually um, I've pretty much as seen on the on the uh, on the circuit diagram I've pretty much you know traced every component I put in and connection I made and then I double checked after putting the circuit together and yep to check to make sure everything's all wired up correctly and seems to be all pretty well wired up correctly so yeah now yeah, just gotta iron out some other bugs I'm guessing maybe yeah problem maybe in the inverter stage or could have a faulty triple five timer because I'm using one of my old triple five timers that I've used in the past or well, three of them actually so yeah problem may lie there but I'll keep you updated and also yeah working on the other I'm still working on me other circuit just um, going to be doing some further emailing with the with 256 byte RAM guy um, who made the schematic and because I still want to get this circuit going as well but yeah that'll be at a later date right now let's get this baby running this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out